I was moved to create this book from my experiences when I first came out to the southwest part of the country from the northeast. Everywhere I went, I was having mystical, kind of even ecstatic experiences. The expanse of land, the way rivers would be formed as like fractures in a high desert mesa. You could see views of sometimes a hundred miles at one time. And within that landscape, you could see forested areas, mountains, vast mesa floors, and amazing cloudscapes. Having all these experiences, I started to read some of the ecstatic writers, some of the poets from ancient times to the current time. I found that the subject matter of my work was reflecting some of these writings, the this, this spirit in them. And the landscapes and some of the figurative images were just so beyond anything that I normally would have done when I was younger that the idea for the book came. Before I started this book, I was in the middle of a really thriving and, and blessed career as a fine art photographer. And in a period of 10 days, I sadly lost about 75 to 80 percent of my vision. Uh, it took me years to kind of work through and process what had happened because every day of my life for 60 years, I was looking for photo opportunities. I was looking for the beauty in the world. I have found from all of this contemplation that I've had to do since my eyesight went so far south in such a short period of time was that there is a whole world inside of us that perceives what's happening on the outside. And I tried to use a lot of these uh, writers who brought this up in their writing. I came to a conclusion after a while that one has to be devoted to something in life and to put all of their attention into it. And that's what brought me to the place where I could finish this book. Of all the stars I admired, drenched in various rivers and mists, I chose only the one I love. Since then I sleep with the night.